Right, so now we have everything in place. Let's start off with the main switching. So what we have here, the blue wires, are our wires coming directly from the input plug. So these are the hot side, these two here, and these are the switched. So we've got neutral and neutral and active. They can be obviously swapped either way. Um, so what we need is what we have here is our two switched terminals. So our input, output, input, output. And what we need also is our neutral to light up the light. So let's take the first one here. And we'll use this same wire. And let's take a measurement and cut it. And make sure again, of course, that it's not plugged in. I say it a lot, but you don't want to be electrocuted, believe me, it's happened to me enough. <laughs> okay, so what we want to do is get another extra piece of wire. Put it together with this fella. Solder. Tin that. Together. Get a piece of heat shrink on there and solder that onto the terminal. Okay, now it'll sit there. Bring this piece down, little tag there, cut that off. Now bring the original piece we had, strip that back, connect it back with this, and put these together. So it makes one continuous connection. Turn that again. Okay. Cut the tip off. Get another piece of heat shrink. That over there, solder that on. There we go. So that's the neutral side taken care of. So that continues down to our connections down below. Now, with our active side, what we need to do is cut that as well. Let's have a look here. So basically we want to do the same. So let's take a bit of a loop here, cut that. Strip it back. Another length of wire here. Together.
and let's connect it in the middle of the switch. Let's turn all our connections up. Okay, let's connect this under this terminal, middle terminal. And that also needs a loop. And grab our original wire here, connect it back with the loop we just made. So heat shrink and solder away. Making sure we don't burn any other wires. All right. So basically, we have our connections connected and our outlets this one will go to our what is that air extract fan which needs to be wired down to our power point and this one of course this will go to our pump water pump so basically everything's still connected as it was so we can have a look and see if they light up even without the output connections let's have a look Alright, let's test. Let's turn our unit on. Now, let's check our water pump. There she is, lights up. And then our extract lights up. Alright, that side's working. Very good. Let's continue. So, this is our light source. This is our switch side, so this gets a bit tricky here, but this one here runs down, it's all twisted up. Basically here we are, is our two connections. There's a fan in the back, this, you can see these black wires here, that goes to the fan, it comes on. And the other two side goes to our input down there. And these two blue wires are our wires. See so these two are coming down from the switch that we just installed again. And connect together with these two. These two blue ones are running to our outlets. I've pulled these two out and they can pop out. There's so these little tabs, you can push them inside and push them out. So what we're going to work out is earth obviously in the middle, we don't need to worry about that. We've got to see which one is switched and which one that we leave. So basically the two wires come here and then they double up and go around to here. 
So one side we need to disconnect on both from our switch side up here. Confusing, huh? <laughs> so let's check which one we got. Okay, so what we want to do is with the continuity tester, we want to find out where this wire is going to on our outlet, uh, outlet plugs. This is our non-switch side. So this is the side that will be leaving connected. Get in there. Let's have a look here. Why can we test this? Alright. Not there. Not there. What the fuck? It's not touching on. Start from up. What we want to do is get the probe in there. This is our non switched side going to our light, which continues all the way down. So, which one have we got here? So, here we go. And I take it, turn that around. Of course, do it opposite sides. It doesn't matter. So, on this plug, it's here. And on this plug, it's here. So, this we want to remove. And this we want to remove. Let's do that. So, once we determine the wire we need to remove take this out there's a little loop of wire that runs up to the other one so this wire we can basically eliminate you can cap it off put tape on it cut it put a little terminal on it whatever you want to do but this is no longer needed so I just snip her off put some tape on it now what we need to do is run two wires off the one that we just removed back up to the top of the panel. So cut yourself two pieces of wire and run that back up to the wire, back up to the two separate pieces from this side. So here is our old wire that we don't need. I just used an old terminal I had. Just pop that back in there so it won't short out with anything. The wires need to be about oh, 50 centimeters long or so, 55, and then just tuck them back inside there, run them back up to the panel. Job done on this one. Okay, so here's our two wires coming up from the electrical sockets. All we need to do is put one here and one here. And then that side is done. So let's do that. Let's tin them up. Snip a bit off. Put a piece of heat shrink on there. Sold them on. Doesn't really matter which one's which because you can switch them around at the socket. Get on there. Alrighty. And where is our pieces of this one? It's on there. Where's the other one gone? Slipped all the way down. Yeah, it is. Looks like spaghetti at the moment, but we'll tidy all this up in the end. 
Okay. So, all we need to do is heat these up. But let's test them first. Okay. Let's see if we get this right. Switch on. Let's test our, our water pump. Where she goes. Off. On. That one's working. Now, switch our air extract on. Where she blows. Once again. Lovely. So, that part is complete. Well, let's move on to the DC side. One more task. Ready.